today is, is, to, is that I can be a source of some inspiration. I'm going to address my remarks to anybody who's ever felt inferior or felt disadvantaged, felt screwed by life. This is a speech for the quad. <laughs> you know, my, my television career began unexpectedly. Uh, as you heard this morning, I was in the Miss Fire Prevention Contest. That was when I was 16 years old in Nashville, Tennessee, and you had the requirement of having to have red hair in order to win up until the year that I entered. So they were doing the question and answer period because I knew I wasn't gonna win in the swimsuit competition. So during the question and answer period, the question came, why young lady, what would you like to be when you grow up? And by the time they got to me, all the good answers were gone. <laughs> so I had seen Barbara Walters on the Today Show that morning. So I answered, I would like to be a journalist. I would like to tell other people's stories in a way that makes a difference in their lives and the world. And as those words were coming out of my mouth, I went, whoa, this is pretty good. <laughs> I would like to be a journalist. I want to make a difference. Well, I was on television by the time I was 19 years old. And in 1986, I launched my own television show with a relentless determination to succeed. At first, I was nervous about the competition, and then I became my own competition, raising the bar every year, pushing, pushing, pushing myself as hard as I knew. Sound familiar to anybody here? Eventually, we did make it to the top, and we stayed there for 25 years. But a few years ago, I decided, as you will at some point, that it was time to recalculate, find new territory, break new ground. So I ended the show and launched OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network. The initials just worked out for me. It, it, it really was, this time last year, the worst period in my professional life. I was stressed and I was frustrated and quite frankly, I was, I was actually, I was embarrassed. It was right around that time that President Faust called <laughs> and asked me to speak here. And I thought, you want me to speak to Harvard graduates? What, I, what could I possibly say? to Harvard graduates, some of the most successful graduates in the world in the very moment when I had stopped succeeding. So I got off the phone with President Faust and I went to the shower. It was either that or a bag of Oreos. <laughs> so I chose the shower. And I was in the shower a long time and as I was in the shower, the words of an old hymn came to me. You may not know it. It's by and by when the morning comes. And I started thinking about when the morning might come, because at the time I thought I was stuck in a hole. And the words came to me, trouble, trouble don't last always from that hymn. This too shall pass. And I thought as I got out of the shower, I am going to turn this thing around and I will be better for it. And when I do, I'm gonna go to Harvard and I'm gonna speak the truth of it. So I'm here today to tell you, I have turned that network around. <laughs>